Along with serving the German armed forces as its main combat helmet, the Stahlhelm also saw use with non-combative organizations such as the Luftschutz, Polizei, and Feuerwehr in multiple civic variations. Although these civic variations of the Stahlhelm were meant for non-combatant use, some would eventually see combat in service of the Volkssturm late in the war. The first of these civic Stahlhelms we'll be taking a look at is the M34. When identifying an M34, it is good to note that earlier variants of the M34 featured bulging vent holes, while later variants, such as this Polizei M34, feature flat vent holes. Employed by German firefighters, the Feuerwehr type M34 differed from regular M34 Stahlhelms due to the addition of mounting holes for the often included comb and neck protector. However, not all Feuerwehr M34s received the additional comb and neck protector, leaving the mounting holes for the accessories open. To combat this, the Feuerwehr M34s with no additional accessories simply had their mounting holes plugged. The second type of Civic Stahlhelm we'll be taking a look at is the Gladiator style Stahlhelm. The Gladiator Stahlhelm appeared throughout the Second World War in three major variations, the three-piece and one-piece, both of which sport a bead around the helmet shell, and the early flat rim, which as you can see, does not sport a bead. Although mostly used by members of the Luftschutz, the Gladiator Stahlhelm also saw use with the Volkssturm, the HJ, and even Bulgarian air defense and chemical protection organizations. Last but not least, there are the beaded combat Stahlhelms. These Stahlhelms are almost identical to the regular combat Stahlhelm employed by the German military. However, they were not meant for combat, and they also featured a bead, just like the three and one piece gladiator helmets. Beaded combat Stahlhelms appeared in the same three configurations as the regular combat Stahlhelm, the M35, M40, and M42, with the M42 being the rarest type of beaded combat Stahlhelm. For the sake of the video's length, I omitted decal identification, lists of identifying numbers, and liner identification from this presentation. As always, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe to help grow the channel, and I'll see y'all in the next video.